Welcome to Northwest Air Guns. I'm John and uh, we're going to do something a little different here today. It's just going to be a short video to cover a couple of topics. But one thing I did want to mention is that um, I'm very appreciative of the viewership uh, of this channel. Um, we've got somewhere over uh, 2,000 subscribers now and uh, we've had uh, close to three quarters of a million views and I find that very encouraging on the one hand that um, we're doing something that's uh, of help to people out there and believe me I know what it's like to be uh, working on an air gun that um, uh, that you're all on your own and now we have these resources on the internet and hopefully I'm uh, one of them and can contribute to um, people doing a, a proper job on their air guns. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I sent in my registration to the SHOT Show. So we'll be going down there in uh, January 2018 to Las Vegas to attend the SHOT Show as a member of the media. And uh, what I try and do is when I'm down there to um, get footage so that it gives the average air gunner a sense of what the show's all about. And it's an industry only show so that it's not open to the public. But hopefully through um, through our participation in videos, you can get a sense of um, of what it's like, and it, it will have the new product introductions and that type of thing that comes uh, out at the shot show every year. So I'm really looking forward to that. We missed the last two years, uh, but like I say, if you go back to 2014 or 2015, there are some videos of our uh, visit to the shot show at those times. Um, this video today is going to be a short one. It's basically in response to some viewer emails. And um, we had one viewer uh, ask about um, lubricating the uh, Sheridan uh, air, air rifle, the pumpers. Uh, you know, what do you do to lubricate them? And so we're going to talk about that a little bit. And then also, um, uh, there's a fellow who emailed me about the valve nut, the valve retaining nut. Uh, in these, that uh, the orientation of that nut. So we're going to talk about that too. All right. Well, the first thing we want to talk about is what kind of oil should you be using uh, to lubricate your Sheridan or Benjamin pumper. And uh, so I've got some out here. And my general advice is any lube is better than none. Uh, it could be uh, three-in-one oil for all all that matters, or motor oil, anything, because. Uh, you don't want to have the pivot points wallowed out, uh, which is a big repair as opposed to just putting a little oil in it. And you can always clean uh, gunky oil out or change seals or that type of thing if, if uh, these cause a problem. Now these are all uh, oils that come with a kit, a uh, seal kit that I bought over the years. So there are, is another alternative, the one that I use is uh, Mac One Secret Sauce. And this one uh, came with the seal kit that I got. And I believe every kit you buy comes with a little tube of uh, secret sauce. Um, and this is some kind of hydraulic fluid or something. And uh, it's worked well for me. All right, so in lubing the gun, there's basically three points where there's pivot action going on. Uh, and it's all in the pumping. Uh, part of the mechanism. And so what I've done is I've got one gun here that's intact and then one that's taken apart so you can kind of see where it, we're talking about. Um, and one of the points, you know, this pump rod is inside the tube there and it attaches to this link like so. And so you want to make sure you have lubrication down in here so that as you pump it and this is working like that that it's nice and moist and oiled up. If it's not, you'll tend to um, wallow out these holes and then you've got a big job. It'd be a lot easier to put some oil in there and prevent the wallowing than, than fix it once it happens. Another point that you have to lubricate is here where the pump arm itself attaches to the link. And that's uh, right in here on this one. So again, as you pump, this is moving back and forth uh, like so. Oops. And uh, so it's important to keep it lubricated 
here and keep that from wallowing out as well. And then the third point is um, up here where the arm itself attaches to the uh, front plug on the gun and you want to make sure that that's lubricated as well and this this is one of the spots that gets wallowed out uh, pretty easily um, if these guns have been pulled apart several times these uh, roll pins in here will start rotating uh, in the gun and when they start doing that if you don't have any lubrication it's almost guaranteed that you're going to wallow out um, the, uh, the hole in the uh, pump arm so be aware of that and people ask well how often do you lubricate and um, we used to say once every 10 of pellets uh, just as kind of a guideline but you can lubricate any time that these points look like they're dry as long as they look like they're moist they're probably in good shape and to, so when you lubricate um, this is the pump rod and the linkage. You're just going to take your um, oil and this is a, I, I use the secret sauce in bulk so I have this kind of a dispenser but you're just going to put a few drops down in here like so and keep that nice and moist. Similarly with this uh, linkage here you're going to put a few drops on it and keep that nice and moist. And then finally, in the front here, let me get that in the picture. Um, well, anyway, you're going to put a few drops down in here to keep that front end moist. And that's all you need. You don't need to lubricate the valve or anything else. It's all happening at these pivot points. And once you've got those lubricated, you can just pump it few times and when you shoot the gun what will happen is that a little bit of that uh, oil will migrate through the tube into the valve and oil tends to carry with it debris and dirt and that kind of thing so it'll actually carry it through the system and out well, one other thing I wanted to mention in this uh, kind of short video relates to the valve retaining nut um, in either the Benjamin or the Sheridan uh, pumpers. And in order to kind of illustrate, we've got our uh, cutout Benji here, uh, Benjamin and Frankie or Frank and Benji or whatever we call it. Uh, and uh, what I've been doing and it, what's shown in the videos um, is that I generally install the nut in this orientation and I got an email from uh, Terry DeWicky or DeWiskey I don't know where he's from but he said gee um, you probably ought to put the nut in like this with the bevel side forward so let's zoom in, zoom in here just a little bit and I'll show you what we're talking about okay we have the cutout here and, and I haven't put any seals or anything in it but you can kind of get the idea. And this is essentially the same valving for the Sheridan as it is for the Benjamin. So we're going to use the nut off of the Benjamin to kind of show what's going on. And uh, I'm not sure why, but I put the nuts in like this with the bevel to the back and the flat side. You can see that. Um, the flat side to the front and the beveled side here to the back and I, I, like I say I don't know exactly why I've been doing it that way but that's how I've been doing it and I can't remember ever doing it any other way and it's possible that the first uh, two or three that I took apart had this orientation and I just never gave it another thought uh, but Terry uh, correctly says that the uh, proper way to do this is to put the bevel toward the front of the gun and the flat toward the back and uh, actually that's easier uh, than the other way although sometimes if the threads are buggered up or there's something um, going on that uh, prevents you from putting it in like this you can flip it around 
with no ill effect and put it in in this orientation. It's just a little bit harder to do because you've got to uh, keep the uh, seal uh, in place whereas the bevel on this one tends to keep the seal in place for you. So I just wanted to mention that and I wanted to thank uh, Terry uh, for the uh, email that brought this to my attention and uh, we want to make sure that the information uh, that we give here at Northwest Air Guns is the uh, correct information. Uh, so bottom line is put the bevel forward. If it doesn't work for some reason you can turn it around and try it like that without any ill effects. Mm -hmm.